What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Retro Review. I am the Bearded Geek, and I have yet another product review for you. The good people over at Mayano decided to send me their PD200X microphone and boom arm combo. This is the PDX200XS. They did send this over to me to review. However, they did not tell me what to say, so I'm going to give my 100% thoughts on this product. All right, let's go ahead and get over to that unboxing. All right, here we have the Mayano Global Best Selling Internet Microphone USB XLR Podcasting Dynamic Microphone Boom Arm Bundle. This is the PD200X series. A little bit about Mayano, a little bit about the product on the back. This is a cardioid pattern dynamic microphone. Ooh branding on the box let's go ahead and get this thing open and actually see what's inside the box go ahead and open this thing up and the first thing that we see of course is the manuals we have the boom arm manual and the pd 200x manual right there then the first thing that we grab out of the box other than the manuals is the podcast boom arm stand this is an all metal build really like this boom arm stand very cool then we have the cable this is a usb to usb and usb c cable this is a combo combo cable very cool i'm glad to see that mayano is uh, putting those in the boxes then we have the PD200X microphone. This is a XLR USB combination microphone. I believe this is an all metal build. Very sturdy. I love the feel of it. Here you have the XLR cable, the USB-C, and your headphone monitoring. There's where it screws into the boom arm. And we have your shock mount. Shock mount is plastic, but that's not a deal breaker at all. It, it works perfectly fine. Then we have the boom arm itself, which I'm struggling getting it out of here. It's in, the, it's in that foam pretty good. Like I said, Mayano has some good packaging. Then we have the boom arm. This is your standard normal boom arm. It's an all metal boom arm. Great, it works great. There's nothing super special about the boom arm, it, but I am glad to see Mayano is packaging this for beginners. Great little boom arm. Then we have your cable, your boom arm stand, and the microphone itself. That is what comes in box. All right, I'm back all hooked up, ready to go. I have been using this microphone throughout the entirety of this video so far in XLR mode. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some tests in XLR mode to see what this microphone can and cannot do. First test is a plosive test. I'm going to be using good mic technique at a 45 degree angle and saying, please do not put pineapple on pizza. Please do not put pineapple on pizza. Now I'm going to look directly into the microphone, blowing the air directly at it and say the same thing. Please do not put pineapple on pizza. Please do not put pineapple on pizza. Now that was a plus of tests. What I'm going to do now is a mic handling test. I'm going to tap on my desk a little bit here. I'm tapping on my desk. I'm tapping on the boom arm. This is just to see what this microphone picks up with some light touching of the boom arm. Now I'm going to be touching the microphone itself in XLR mode. These are some of the resonant noises that you can get if you touch the microphone, boom arm, or desk. So now I'm going to do a proximity test. Since this is a dynamic microphone, you kind of want to be right up on it to begin with, but you don't want to be like sucking down the microphone. You want to be, you know, a good two to three inches away from it, which I am now. So this is a proximity test about two to three inches away. I'm gonna back up. I'm probably about six inches away from the microphone. Now I'm going to, I'm about a foot, maybe a foot and a half away from the microphone. And that's really about how far away you wanna be. You don't wanna be any farther away from this microphone. That is your proximity test. Now, 
This thing sounds pretty good from all my tests that I've heard already in XLR mode, but where I think this thing shines is in the USB mode. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna hook this thing up to USB and we're gonna check out the Mayana software that comes with this device. All right, we are back and we are in USB mode. I have the USB-C plugged into the back of the microphone and my computer and in the computer recognize it right away no issues whatsoever what i want to do now is i want to go over some of the features that you get in usb mode first off you get to push the touch mute button and when you press the mute button the lights right here go off so you know you're muted so like i could be talking and then i'm back to where you can hear me you get rgb in usb mode now, technically, you could get RGB mode in XLR mode. You would just have to have both plugged in because the XLR cable does not have enough power to support the RGB. So all you would need to do is plug the USB into something that has power and you could get RGB while you're in XLR mode. Um, also, you have your gain right on top right here. So if I turn the gain knob, this is what... What it does, you it moves. Now, I'm not going to mess with it because I got it set where I want, but it's kind of digitized to where if you move the gain knob, it just goes all the way around and it kind of lights up, but it blinks when it gets to the end. So you know you're at the very end of the game. So you, then you dial it back down. And this is also for your headphone monitoring. You got your gain, which is green. And if I press this down, you get the blue for your headphone monitoring to uh, turn up the volume in your headphones. So I'm going to go back to, actually I'm going to leave it on blue for right now because what we're going to do is we're going to go into the software because like I said before, where this thing shines is within the software. So let's go ahead and go over to the software. I'm going to put my headphones on so I can hear what I'm doing in there. So here we go, let's go on over to the software. All right, I got the software open. Now what you see right here is your, your levels. You got your levels right here. I got my gain set at 84 and I have my monitoring right here. Now if I was to move this, I can move it all the way up and this is what it sounds like all the way up at 100 and this is what it sounds like all the way down so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it right back at 84 where i had it and this is the headphone monitoring like if i was to put this all the way up the volume goes up in my headphones and if i put it down the volume goes down in my headphones so i'm going to put it right at 75 to where i have a good listening levels now where I said that this thing shines is not only in the RGB, not only in everything else, but the software and you can change the tone of your voice while using this software. We are in original right now, but if I wanted a deep tone, I press this and this is what it sounds like in a deeper tone, a little deeper, a little bit more broadcasty if I should say tone. Then we have your natural to where I think it, it's it's supposed to bring up natural. But in my opinion, this sounds nasally a little bit. It not 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 the best. Uh, there are other features. I like legacy though. Legacy is that perfect blend of deep and natural to where this is almost like your perfect broadcasting sound, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. Then you can control your RGB right here. You have your RGB on, or I could just turn it off right there. But let's turn it on. You can actually control the brightness of your RGB if I want to turn it down. If I want it all the way up, which I don't. I only want it about 75%. And you can actually change the color right here within the software without pressing the back of the button. Put it back on there. Now that is just your standard. You can go into advanced and we are in advanced right now. And then your, your top levels are the same, but this one, you get a little EQ. You got your flat line here, but then you press this and you have your high pass filter. You have your presence boost. To me, if you put this on legacy and presence boost, this is almost like a really good sound for podcasting your, your one-on-one -on -one podcasting. This is a really good sound. This, uh, the, your high pass and presence boost, uh, you get for my voice, 
I don't really care for this so much. So I'm going to put it on the presence boost with the legacy. Oh, sounds beautiful. Now your limiter, you press your limiter and your limiter is basically if you get, if you're playing video games or you get really loud, you can limit how high your volume goes. So I'm going to put it at 9 dB. I don't want my levels to get higher than 9 dB and start clipping. So you can limit that. And you got your compressor right here to where you can compress, which is basically what it sounds like. You're compressing your audio. So we're gonna compress it at 15 dB. And tell me how, what you think, how this sounds with these settings right here. I think this sounds really good. You can almost customize this to sound almost any way you want so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go back listening through all my audio and give you my final thoughts and now for my final thoughts i have zero bad things to say about this microphone from the rgb to the all metal build this thing is great if i was to nitpick and i'm talking about the nittiest nitpicking things of them all maybe the plastic shock mount maybe the fact that the gain and the headphone monitoring just spins consistently without stopping and it's digitized but that's that's nitpicking at its finest right there i love the fact that it comes with the software to where you can make your voice sound as broadcasty as you want this thing is an amazing microphone i think i like it better in usb mode than i do xlr mode and that is the first time i've ever said that about any microphone i've reviewed so far great microphone and at its price point it can't be beat you can get the microphone and the boom arm combo which is the pd 200 xs you can get that combo right now for 79 dollars on amazon or you could get the microphone itself, the PD200X, for, on, for only $69 right now at time of recording. Now, the you can get it in black and white for just a microphone. But if you get the combo, you can get it in black, white, or pink. So amazing deals right now on Amazon from Mayano. Definitely go check them out. I got to give this thing five stars there is nothing bad i can really say about this microphone all right that does it for this episode of back to the retro review and remember if i don't see you again thank you for being a friend